Hello. So we ended up getting a new truck, pretty silver truck. We had to turn the lease in on the black truck. So we got a new lease. So today we are outfitting it with all the products that we like to use in the truck for the animals. Um, obviously with the lease, <laughs> you want to turn it in preferably pretty clean. Uh, usually everything is covered in dog hair. So we are going to outfit it and make it so it should stay pretty much pretty clean without having to clean it all the time. At least it'll make it easier for us. So that's going to be the plan. So these are the products that we're going to use in the truck. Um, this is a hammock that goes between the back of the front seats and the actual back seat. Um, it's nice because it keeps most of the dog fur and any dirt on the dog um, on the hammock instead of the seats that are underneath. And it's also nice because normally this down here is a big gap where a person's legs would normally go, which obviously the dog can't sit on. So this actually extends it so they have more room to sit. Um, we had one before, um, but it was actually that color. Um, we had it up all the time in the truck and we actually put some large pieces of equipment on it and it caused a couple holes to get in it. So we got this new one. It's a little bit of a different color. So unfortunately it doesn't match these. I didn't find these in any other color. So I'll just have to ignore my OCD. Um, they're both Kurgo brand. Um, Kurgo makes some awesome traveling stuff for dogs. So we, get, we have a lot of actually products from Kurgo. Um, these things are awesome because these, these plastic pieces actually tuck into the window groove and covers the side door. And it actually, it's folded a couple times, so you can actually make it bigger depending on the size of the door. But that keeps, if the dog is, uh, like Jezebel likes to sit up and uh, put her feet up here to look out the window better. Um, and then when she comes down, her paws kind of go across and her nails will sometimes catch the actual plastic of the door. This keeps them from scratching. Overall, both very, very good products to protect your vehicle. So for the floors, we have this flat sheet. We got black to match the black interior. Um, we cut it in half. Half of it's coming up front here, and then we're gonna end up putting the other half in the back. And tell us what you're doing with it. Uh, I am putting it underneath all the side trims, and I'm gonna have it tucked so it'll all be tight, so it won't be so noticeable, and then we'll put the mats on top, and it'll just cover all the excess carpet that we get five pounds of dog hair on. That does not vacuum up. It does not vacuum up very well. It does not vacuum There's up. always pieces embedded. Was that a pain in the butt to get underneath the plastic? No, nah, it's pretty simple. These just pop up. Okay. It's just going to be more of a pain getting it all straight straight and tight. That's because you're OCD. It doesn't have to be straight and tight. No, but... it doesn't. But... Huh. At least I'll keep all the fur off. Because I swear this carpet that's in cars, oh my god, look at that. That's, that's my hair. That's not dog hair. That is my hair. We're, we're going to remove my hair from the crime scene. <laughs> my hair and the dog hair did not vacuum up very well so off this stupid carpet, so this will definitely help. All right, so we finished putting all the sheets in. So the sheets up front, you can't really super tell from far away. Oh look, it's already got my hair on it, oh my god. I think I shed more than the dog sometimes. But that is all sheet, all sheet, and it runs underneath all of that plastic, all underneath the plastic. Goes up over the weird hump thing onto my side. And then, did the same thing on this side. So, underneath all the mats and stuff, you got this sheet that goes all the way back, all the way underneath. I mean, there's like nothing exposed. You did very good at this. That's all the way there. And then we did this fitted sheet on here. Now the hammock's gonna go here, but uh, the amount of hair they usually lose, sometimes hair gets underneath. Um, so we put the fitted sheet on. I think we got a twin, didn't we? Yeah, twin for the back. Twin. And I bought a queen cut it yeah. in half to cover both. Yep, so queen for that, cut in half. So half was here, half up front. And then this was just a twin fitted sheet. Now we had to obviously cut holes and stuff so we could still get that stuff through. But obviously it's not going to fall down because everything's holding it. And the dog's harness is attached to the seat belts. So obviously we still had to use the seat belts for that. So now... I think all we have left is the hammock and the door covers. And we're done. So this is how it all looks when it's all done. You got the hammock, 
that goes across the front seats to the back seats it's like a heavy duty i think it's like a canvas isn't it yeah so not so easy to break or put holes in it unless you're putting heavy equipment on here which i wouldn't recommend um but it's a pretty cool hammock um it's got this velcro here that you can use for the seat belts although our seat belts don't really line up very well with it um it has these actually come across so again the seat belt can kind of go through that way a little bit um, we have the seat belts already in place plugged or snapped in underneath the hammock because uh, we attach their safety harnesses to the actual seat belts um, for safety um, also sometimes we attach them here um, but they're already snapped in so we don't have to worry about them but like I said, this is nice because not only does it kind of keep hair and if you're coming in from the beach, it keeps all the sand up here. Um, it's also super nice because you have this big giant hole here. So if you didn't have the hammock, the dogs just had the seating area to sit. This extends it so they actually can lay all the way across and it's a lot more roomier. So especially if you have like more than one dog, um, gives them a lot more space. And then these handy duty things, um, they have these cool little plastic things that just kind of go into, I don't know if I can get it in there and look for the camera, but it goes into a little crevice there and there's a couple of them all along here and you just put them in there and it kind of hangs there. Not that it's focusing. Focus! That was slow. Okay. Uh, but that way, like I said, Jezebel, who usually sits on this side, likes to put her head out the window. So this way, when she puts her little paws up here, she isn't scraping at the poor actual door and scratching it up. This keeps that from happening. Now, it's got these cool little mesh things here that you can, like, put things in. I don't. Um, I tuck that into the little pocket that's there. Um, now, these things are pretty great. The only issue I have with them is if you're constantly putting the window up and down, up and down, because this is actually slid into where the window is, sometimes it'll knock them out on the way up um, after you put the windows down. Other than that, they're pretty great. Um, so Kurgo did a pretty good job. I like them a lot. I said that one has on that side, and that's what it looks like uh, in the door. Um, it's actually can actually go a little bit wider. I have them actually folded, so if the door's a little bit bigger, um, it does go a little bit wider for more space. But so that's basically that. Um, like I said, we've used these before in the hammock before. The sheets that we used are a little bit new. We haven't done that before, but that's how we dogify our truck. <laughs>